The main version of Minecraft that I play is Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I've got my own reasoning for this that doesn't really matter at the moment, but I get comments all the time telling me to play Java Edition and more specifically Hypixel, and it's understandable because that's where a large portion of Minecraft's viewing audience is. Well, today I decided to play on Hypixel and more importantly give my thoughts on the server from a Bedrock Edition player's point of view. I played some of the most popular games like Bed Wars, Sky Wars, and Skyblock, and even brought along my friend and fellow Bedrock Edition YouTuber. Danny is the bomb to give his thoughts on Hypixel as well. Interested? Let's get started! So I guess before we get into it too far, I should make it clear that I'm not actually that new to Hypixel. I've played the server off and on since like 2014, and I've seen it grow over the years. This is why I brought along Danny with me, because while he has played on Hypixel a little bit, he has next to no experience in anything. We'll be able to use his lack of experience on the server to provide more insight from a Bedrock player into what Hypixel is like. Also, keep in mind that while I've played a decent amount of Java in the past, I'm gonna be looking at Hypixel here from just just a bedrock POV. With all of that out of the way, let's start talking about our experience on Hypixel. I realized very early on that Hypixel just has way too many games and that we weren't going to be able to play all of them. I know that we're not going to get the complete Hypixel experience this way, but I know a lot of you have probably seen the videos and streams of people trying to beat every Hypixel game. I just don't have a week to waste on that. Regardless, I decided to take us into some of Hypixel's most popular games instead. Starting it off, we played Bed Wars, which is essentially a classic Hypixel game at this point. I'll assume that you already know how Bed Wars works if you're watching this video, but in case you don't, if have bed, respawn. If no have bed, death. Break other bed, kill other guy. Win game, win all other guy dead. I hope that was a good enough explanation for you. We played a couple of Bed Wars games, did well in both of them, won one of them, but I think we also didn't face the greatest opposition because Hypixel does have skill-based matchmaking from what I can tell. I'm an 8 star, Danny's a 3 star, it's not like we were fighting top tier players. Bed Wars, as you know, is fairly straightforward and we didn't really run into too many issues with knowing what to do ever. I had to tell Danny to buy iron armor at one point, and I was the one kind of going and getting upgrades and kind of initiating fights. But I mean, again, Bed Wars is really simple. There's a little bit of strategy that you'll have to learn and get used to, but it's not that complicated overall, and it's just one of those fun games you can load up and play with friends. Danny basically echoed the same sentiment when I asked him his thoughts on it. It's not that hard to get used to, yeah. but at the same time, the, the strategy is very complicated. It's not as simple as the hive would be. Next up, however, we decided to try Sky Wars, and boy, did I not know the experience that I was in for. Now, if you didn't know, I actually play Sky Wars, and sometimes even on stream. This is the game that I've probably played the most on Hypixel, and I've got quite a lot of the stuff in the game unlocked. I've taken that for granted over the time that I've played for the most part, and I didn't really realize that players that are just starting out don't really have kits or perks. This was the case for Danny, and he quite literally had no kits and no perks. While I was using a kit that gave me almost full iron, he was using the default starter kit which gave him wood tools and that's it. Needless to say, the Sky Wars games that we played were extremely rough. We did not win a single time in the 30 minutes that we were playing. I get that you're supposed to play the game and grind coins to be able to get kits, but how are you even expected to win in the first place if there's just frog kits which can get to your island in 2 seconds and brutally slaughter you? Needless to say, our experience in Sky Wars wasn't exactly the greatest just because of how kits affect the game so much. If you don't have have a kit, which is basically the same as having the starter kit, and you're just relatively inexperienced, you're not gonna win. Or even come close to it for that matter. Here's what Danny had to say on a Sky Wars experience. So as somebody who's never played Sky Wars, I need a break. It's not like... I need to come right back to it. It was just like a, yeah, that was yeah. fun. <laughs> That's how I feel about kits on here, kind of, because kits yeah, you know, uh, kit, the new players. Yeah, I mean, kits like make this game, and it's really fun when, every, when you have kits and everyone has kits, but when yeah. no one, or when you don't have kits, it's just a constant cycle of getting rolled until you finally get enough coins to be able to buy them. Kit matchmaking would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool, yeah. After we were done with Sky Wars, though, we decided to move into Sky Block. Now, Sky Block is Hypixel's most popular game by far. Like I've said previously, at pretty much any given time, Sky Block houses more than one fourth of Hypixel's given players. I personally haven't played much of it, though, and it also happens to be the game where Danny has more experience in it than me. I just don't want to waste two years of my life away with a crippling Sky Block addiction. Still, as for a Bedrock player's take on it, it's a pretty cool game, and it goes very in depth and is very obvious 
obviously well made and thought out. As a new player, you're told what to do on the side of the screen, and it seems to be fairly straightforward. From what I've heard and seen, it can get pretty advanced down the road, but I honestly don't have the time to put into main skyblock to get to that point. There's also not really too much to compare it to in Bedrock Edition. Yes, there is the Islands game mode on Pixel Paradise, but again, you can't really compare the two because, well, if you know, you know. We also decided to play some duels and explore Hypixel housing a little bit. Danny definitely had a difficult time in duels, just not really knowing Java mechanics that well, but we also just had some fun vibing in a parkour housing lobby, and yeah, that's pretty much all we did. Again, I know that there are tons more games on Hypixel, but we just really didn't have the time to be able to visit everything. We tried out some of the more well-known games that the average player would probably play, and I think that gives a good baseline to be able to give more thoughts on the server off of. So, I guess moving on to give more complete thoughts on Hypixel, there's a few things that we kind of talked about afterwards. Obviously, one of the things that Danny didn't like too much was the knockback on Hypixel, but you also have to remember that that is just a Java constant. Any Bedrock player, including myself, is gonna need to take some time to get used to Hypixels and just Java in general's knockback. It's not like Hypixel's going to or can easily change up how their knockback works anyways, so why does it even matter, really? Another thing that Danny and I noticed, however, was that most Hypixel games just throw you off into the deep end without much instruction on how to play the game at all. Yes, I know that in most of the games there is an info section where it kind of tells you what the game is about and what you're supposed to do, but for the most part, players are just kind of left to figure everything out on their own, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing, especially for new players that don't know any better. Yes, there are things like the Bed Wars practice mode that you can play to learn some mechanics of the game, and don't get me wrong, this is a good thing, but there's nothing really that tells you how to play the game or gives you tips or anything. Like I said earlier, I literally had to remind Danny to buy armor and to buy tools. Maybe that's just Danny and I being used to Bedrock Edition where quite a lot of servers do tell you how to play on most games, but it kind of just comes as a surprise when you're left to figure out everything about the server for yourself. Another thing that I like to look at and talk about whenever I visit servers is how they're monetized. Obviously, Hypixel's like every other Minecraft server. They have to make money to stay up and running, and they do that through ranks and other cosmetic purchases. Now, I have YouTube rank on Hypixel, which means that I pretty much get every single rank perk possible, but Danny didn't have any rank at all on the server. Even still, for the most part, without a rank on Hypixel, you can literally do anything that anyone with a top rank has. From what I can tell, there's not really anything that's blatantly pay to win on Hypixel, and all the ranks really get you are a colored name, some quality of life perks on the server, and some extra cosmetics. I honestly really like this monetization system because it's not all in your face, but if you want to support the server and get some cool perks, you can. Overall, I think Hypixel is a really cool server, and it's going to be a good experience for most people who play on it. While the games do take some getting used to, overall, they're pretty fun and obviously very well made, which would make sense for a server of Hypixel size. I hope you all enjoyed this review of Hypixel from a Bedrock player's point of view, and if you want to see me compare Hypixel to one of the largest Bedrock Edition servers, I recommend you click on this video that just showed up on screen. Regardless, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.